Okay, so this is my lab setup. Can barely be roll along. I've got my track and it's kind of clamped up there to something to kind of provide like a rigid um, pull. And then I have marked off with some blue tape my distance measurements. I did 30 centimeters. You guys are welcome to do 20 or 15. It's kind of up to you. And then um, I have my photo gate down here at the bottom. And I kind of had to tape mine down to make sure that it was kind of like a constant angle. Notice it's not necessarily like changing curves, it's a constant angle. And I had to put a little pad paper there. And I'll show you why I do that in a moment. So if I zoom in down here to the bottom, this is kind of a crucial thing. When you set up your photo gate, there is a kind of little hole right here, and that's where the laser is coming out of. And you're going to input the diameter of this marble into the software. And so you need to ensure that when the marble rolls through this, that it's the diameter of the marble that's passing through the laser. Okay? So you may have to adjust your height of this. I had to actually, this is the lowest I could get my photo gate. So I had to kind of increase the height of my ending of my ramp a little bit. So I've got this little pad of paper there. Um, and then the other thing I would recommend is putting um, a cup at the end to catch your marble. Otherwise, you're going to be um, retrieving it quite a bit. So I am going to now walk you through the software for this. Let me put my iPad um, back here so you can see it a little bit better. Sorry, my cat is going to be in the background. Um, OK, so you're going to go ahead and open up this plug your photo gate into the digital adapter, digital adapter into the Sparklink Air. Sparklink Air gets connected to your computer either via a cord or through the Bluetooth. Um, again, you'll know solid means you're connected. So solid green means I'm connected. Hardwire solid blue means I'm connected with the Bluetooth. And you're going to go ahead and select your sensor data. Oh, gosh, my cat is just going into my video. It's embarrassing. Um, and so usually when you have your photo gate plugged in, you get this digital adapter setting here. So notice there's no um, measurements. So you need to go ahead and click this little um, configure sensor. It's this little cog icon. So configure sensor. And we need to input what we're using. So we only have one photo gate or device for this um, lab. And we are going to go ahead and use um, photo gate timing. OK. And the flag length. The flag length is actually the diameter of your marble. So I have measured this. This marble, your marbles are approximately 1.5 centimeters. So we're going to input that value in here, and that is going to be 0 0.015 meters. And select OK. And now that we have actually input some information, we have some options to get some measurements. We're not going to worry about the time in the gate, but I do want to know what the velocity in the gate is. So I'm going to select that one. And I actually want to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and do a table and a graph. Um, I actually only want a table, but this is kind of the default it gives me. Um, now, here's the thing. You can go ahead and press start and it doesn't matter. You don't have to like run over there very quickly. It's only going to take data when it's actually going through the um, gate. So I am just going to start at the top of my ramp and drop the ball. The one thing that you do need to be careful with, um, this was the best track I could get you going in the in your little kit is um, your marble might be a little big for your track and so you may have to kind of open up your track a little bit to make sure that the marble doesn't get stuck in it okay it's okay if it cracks the bottom of this little bit like these are not that expensive um, but again we want to open this up so your marble doesn't just get stuck at some point so i found that i kind of want to do that a little bit before each one I'm going to go ahead and my trial one is up here at this top row, so I'm going to release it. And I saw the little red light for one, so I know that it triggered, but I didn't get a velocity. Hmm. Maybe it went too fast. Let me try that again. Oh, golly, I didn't press start, guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm press start. Come back over here. Release it from the right spot. And there we go. Okay. And I got a velocity value of 1.4. Okay. Run it again just to make sure that, that is correct.
Okay, again, 1.38, third time's a charm, and then we'll average those. Okay, so I did it three times. I'm gonna go ahead and press stop. Now notice I did all three of those runs in one single um, trial, I guess. Um, and you can manually average these, but remember this is like a giant computer, um, like software program. So you can actually get some statistical information. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select this table. And now I hit the Sigma and I'm gonna select mean, okay? And it gives me the average right here. So that's the average velocity of 1.41 centimeters. And that's when I dropped it from a distance of 150. Um, that's 1.41 meters per second. And that's when I dropped it from a distance of um, 150 centimeters, okay? Um, so you're gonna run several trials of this doing different distances and getting the average velocity down here at the bottom of this, okay?